We hope that you had a fantastic Easter Sunday, a beautiful weekend, and I gotta tell you, there was an extra spring in my step over the weekend. Just because the weather was so amazing? Fan Fantastic. I know. I just want to bottle it up and save it for, I don't know, a day in August. Listen, <laughs> you know what I did yesterday? You finally are. drank some champagne. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, finally had the bubbles, and I can't believe it was 40 days. I feel good. Like, I felt good. I, I guess I didn't realize how much champagne I drink. I know. It's healthier <laughs> to just not drink it at all. But that's no fun. <laughs> I'm glad you had a little break. Yeah, and uh, Easter was great. The boys had so much fun, like, looking for e their eggs and all kinds of fun so stuff. So the Easter so. Bunny still does come to your house? Yes. That is amazing. It was, I mean, it's sort of like Christmas morning if you're a young kid, like, waiting for the magical things left behind by the bunny. I know. Oh, the innocence. Oh, you know, on Friday night, we went, uh, this was like a belated birthday present for Orlando. We went to Field and Tides. It was Good Friday, so we had to, you know, do our part of some fried pimento and some fish. Oh, it looks pretty, too. And the tostadas there, that was a mushroom tostada. So you would love that, too. That was fantastic. And then we headed over to Jones Hall for the Houston Symphony for music music of Led Zeppelin. Oh, that's cool. Y'all, I gotta tell you, the, the symphony, first of all, our Houston symphony is like off the chain, if that's even a symphony phrase that I can use, right? <laughs> um, so, I'm so, I'm so, what is it? You're so hip. Yeah, so hip. I'm not a regular mom, I'm a cool mom. There are no rules in this house. And um, so it's the symphony playing all the music of Led Zeppelin, and Orlando loves him some Led Zeppelin. So that's the only thing he wanted for his birthday. He found out that they were doing this tribute for all the music. And I knew way more Led Zeppelin songs than I thought I did. I don't know if I know you do. any. You do. Okay. You do. It was awesome, though. It was really, really well done. If you have a chance to go see, you know, we did that with Hanson. Uh, we saw them perform. So when, when, if the symphony, check out their, uh, their website, because if something like this comes, it's called the Pop Series. It is so good. The conductor is awesome. The crowd is incredible. And they even had like a, pulled somebody out of the audience to do like a guest conducting. And oh, that's her name fun. was Shauna. And she did a great job. She did a little wiggle on her behind. You know, she was dancing. It was really <laughs> cute. It, she did a great job. And an unexpected combination too. Something like the symphony along with Led Zeppelin. Yeah. You don't imagine those two things going together, but they do so beautifully, right? They really do. And that music was just fantastic. And then of course, you know, early yesterday morning with the boys um, finding their Easter baskets and stickers and candy and all kinds of stuff. Whoa, your Easter bunny really goes all out. Not really. I mean, a little bit. Yeah. Not much. Yeah. It does. That looks very nice. It was it was great. It was such a How fun looked, weekend. Yeah. My in-laws are in town from Utah, and uh, so they're back here again for, for some perfect weather. So oh, that's fantastic. I yeah. didn't realize they were all coming in. They're here because of AJ's First Communion, which is coming up this weekend. So we need this good weather to stick around. we got to have them come to Houston Life and make a little appearance on the oh, show. Oh, absolutely. You know, my friends had such a good time on Friday. Gosh, we had so much fun with them. And we had a school tour, and so we had a little studio audience, what, 25 people or so? Yeah, we something had like here. that which was so great, and you all were so nice to them. Uh, we had, that's part of the group there, and it was so much fun just hanging out. After the show, uh, the kids ran around breaking those cascarones, <laughs> and then um, oh, you just saw that goat yeah, yoga picture. You did, you we, we <laughs> went back and we did the You're giving him the side eye. Well, so my friend Malika, who is here, you know, she's the one, she's the mom of that one-year-old baby Elodie who we Beautiful. had on the show. And Malika, that morning, she was texting me saying, okay, so texting me from like two floors up in our house. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she's like, what's the policy on jewelry and goat yoga? And I said, I mean, well, anything that you wear, they're going to try to bite, which Remember? they do. And yeah, it, I was having flashbacks to the day in the mall when, first of all, the goats got loose and were running Remember through the mall. Remember that? <laughs> Very loudly. And and Rachel, who owns Goat Yoga Houston, which, by the way, is the place to go if you want to do yoga. It's so great. Um, they're at Net Bar in, uh, I guess, Rice Military is right, that neighborhood. Right, right. But we had so much fun. And I think initially um, my friends were a little bit nervous about what to expect, but it was great. 
Well, well I have to have tell you, I, I feel like there's not a lot of yoga. It's more like a like an ab exercise because you're laughing so hard, you know, and you're yeah. trying to hold those poses. And I remember when we did it, I was like, I don't hear anything you're saying to me because I was laughing. I couldn't retain anything. I was laughing so hard. Yeah, but luckily Rachel is such a cool yoga instructor that she She's kept moving. Explains right? off the top that it's there are no rules in this class. There are no rules in this house. I'm not a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. How many times can we theme. quote that? Uh, so she encourages people just to laugh and have a good time. I think it's time for us to get the goats back on oh, Houston Live. Why not? Why not? We're but willing to do anything here. Maybe we should do it outside this time, though. Like maybe outside in the front lawn. Oh, uh, sure. Because remember last time. So we can run away from them? <laughs> no, because they, you know, they're goats. They go, they, they're like you when you stop by a CVS. Sometimes they have to use the bathroom. <laughs> I'm off the celery juice. That was a that was a two day thing. I got my own my own experience. I'm still drinking. I'm traumatized juice. now. I'm afraid to go to CVS because I'm afraid somebody's gonna see me and they're gonna be like, oh, she's got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get like windshield like size glasses. And or a just hat. not go to CVS anymore. Or uh, yeah, no, I think you can still go there to use the bathroom. They'll gladly welcome you. They're uh, clean. <laughs> so it was such a beautiful day. Yesterday we went out on uh, Buffalo Bayou too. Oh, beautiful! And guess who I ran into out there, in the neighborhood? Who? That dude right there. Justin Stapleton. Justin? Where's your shirt? You know what? What happened to your shirt? Normally I don't go shirtless in public. It's very Ever. Traumatic. What? <laughs> what is happening? Normally I don't take my shirt off in front of everybody. But it was such a beautiful day. Normally I just <clears throat> normally we, I just took it off. We had to to take our shirts off, and we were. Is he wearing Houston Life sunglasses? <laughs> no, I oh. don't think so. I doubt it. <laughs> but we were riding bikes, and it was so, so beautiful. It was so much fun. And then yesterday, um, after after that, a bunch of us met up. They do this annual thing called Bunnies on the Bayou. It's like this big, it's sort of like pride, but in the spring. Okay. And uh, so we ran out there and ran into so many people, friends of the show. There were like half a dozen Channel 2 people there. Love it. And I love your hat and that photo from Man Ready Mercantile, Man Ready the Merc Orlando hat. Yeah. And the escape room and the crawfish boil. It was a busy, busy weekend. So anyway, we're all rooting for our rockets, oh, though. Oh, yes. You know, I told you my in-laws are in town, and my father-in-law, Pops. Hardcore jazz fan? Hardcore. Uh-oh. And I, he was like, sorry, Pops. The jazz, they're going, they're going down. I, sorry. I, yeah. I mean, I'm not sorry. He's sorry. You know. But he recognizes that they are going down. Well, not not yet. Well, I think. and you mentioned <laughs> He's it holding on to a hope. The irony of the Utah Sorry. fans is that, you know, everyone's like, oh, you're from Salt Lake. They're so nice. The fans? They're To your mean. face. But the fans are mean. And they remember we chatted about this, how the NBA ejected... Multiple some, fans. Multiple fans. You know, I guess there's this card, the bad behavior card, that if an official comes up to you, you're out. Banned for life. No. Yes, you can't go back to a game. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm almost certain Band that you are, for that's life? it. You, because and the bad thing is some of these Utah fans are actually physically touching the players. Like they've actually touched them. No touching. Yeah. Cool. Don't that's ever touch, cool. right? Well, Keep listen, your hands to yourself. We learned this at a very young age. <laughs> we do. Some, some <laughs> of us learn it. But speaking of our rockets, right? Yeah. We are feeling Rockets fever, and we're going to play We're gonna play in the beard? Is yeah. that what we're going to do? So there's this uh, game called Beard Ball. I think it's, I don't know, did James Harden invent this game? I, if not, he should. Yeah, if not, he should be making money off I this. mean, he should be. Are we standing up, or what are we doing? Sitting? What happens? Does the desk just sort of magically move away? Okay. Oh, wow. We are so high-tech here. We are. Was, are we standing? That was really, really we're gonna cool. We're going to stand. Okay, so we're going to play this game, the Thank Beard you, Ball. I don't Thank know you, what. Thank you, Carlos. Um, you get to pick a beard. Well, we both do. You want to go first? Yeah, I'll pick up glasses sure. and beard. And then we have a card. And for sake of time, I'm just going to put mine on as well. Oh, that's a good beard. It's like the handlebar. It looks very realistic. Yeah. On you, too. So pick a card, and then we figure out, like, how to throw it or something. Yeah, I guess there's, like, an action. So my bad toss, bro. Take three paces from the player with the beard. Sit on the floor facing away from them. Toss the ball over your head and onto the beard. Oh, okay. Well, you want to take a one, couple of them? One, two, three. Well, this is our first time playing. Do you need more than one ball? No, but you've got to stand right there. Because I only get one chance. Okay, ready? Stand. You only get one? Did I get you? Not, not even close. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Your do turn. I pick one or yeah. do you pick more than one ball? Pick a card. I can't read this with these glasses on. Take three paces from the player with the beard. 
spin around five times and toss the ball onto the beard. Oh, okay. Did we pick these cards specifically well, here, I'll, for me? I'll trade places with you. Okay. Spin around five times yep. and then toss the beard? Yep. Okay. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta go to the dentist. I'll be right back. <laughs> I mean, you hit me right in the face. Well, I didn't. I'm sorry. Stop doing CrossFit. I'm sorry. You're too strong. <laughs> okay, baby beard. Hold the ball under your chin while the player with the beard sits below you. Drop the ball onto the beard by lifting your chin. I guess you have to sit down, babe. What? Hold the ball under your chin while the player with the beard sits below you. Drop the ball onto the beard. By lifting your chin. This okay. is very awkward. <laughs> it's not awkward for me. Oh. This is really oh. Good. Oh. <laughs> okay, another round, last time. Okay. I, yep. I think you're ahead. I don't know. Oh, this is interesting. Did you guys pick these cards on purpose? <laughs> Chillax fling. Chillax we fling. We both lay down on the ground <laughs> with the, the bottoms, bottoms of, of our your feet, feet touching. touching. While keeping your back. back touching the floor, toss, toss the, the ball. ball. Oh, okay. Two tries. Well, do we have enough balls? This is me, though. This is this is both of us. Both players lay I down know, at the bottom. I know, but one, while one player. Your, toss the ball into the beer. Okay. Right. Well, here we go. Okay. How clean is this floor? Not at all. Um, <laughs> our camera's dropped. Go the mic pack. Oh, the mic pack. Okay. Okay, ready? I think so. Okay. <laughs> oh, didn't work. Terrible game. That's a bust. This is a total bust. <laughs> um, well, that was really fun, guys. Um, Seven dollar game in the clear section of what what store? Target. Target. Seven minutes of our lives. Uh, we'll we will never get back. Y'all won't either. You won't either, and we're really sorry about that. This was not our idea. You keeping yours on? Yeah, it's very comfortable. Okay. It's very. Very natural. There we go. Fear want, the beard. Want to chat about today's show? Yeah, Utah Jazz, fear that beard. Folks, does the, <laughs> does the warmer weather have you wishing you were on a beach somewhere? Well, for me, that's certainly true. From Cabo to Jamaica, even Bermuda, today we're going to have some travel deals, last minute and otherwise. They will help you save big without blowing your budget. Plus, kids and retirement in today's Shakiba Report. How to set financial goals for your family and stick to them so you don't ruin your plans for the future. Well, very important topic there. But before we get to all that, New York Times best-selling author and health and fitness expert Dr. Ian Smith is back in the house today. He's got a brand new book called Clean and Lean. It's all about 30 days. 30 foods we should be eating and today he's also got some of the body transformation secrets in his book Courtney he says we can lose 15 pounds if we stick to his plan mm. that's coming right up back. so spring of course is a great time of year to get in shape and our next guest says you can lose 15 pounds over the next 30 days. New York Times best-selling author and fitness expert Dr. Ian Smith is here with easy ways to get back to the basic when it comes to food and also physical activity. Welcome back to the show. Always good to be back to see you guys. So I cannot believe this. Book number 17, 17 for you. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. And when you get to book number 17, how do you set this one apart? <laughs> well, it's interesting. This may be the most effective of all my books. And I'll tell you this. You take clean eating, meets intermittent fasting. So clean eating is reducing processed ingredients in your foods. Intermittent fasting is a program where you have feeding windows alternating with fasting windows. So you go back and forth. Both programs by themselves are very effective, but in this case, one plus one doesn't equal two, it actually equals three, because the synergism is explosive. We have a Facebook group called Cleaner Get Leaner. The results have been amazing, up to 15 pounds in 30 days. Some lady from Canada lost 11 pounds in 13 days, but the people like it because it's flexible, the foods are easy, they're affordable, and when you do that intermittent fasting, you're driving your body into your fat stores. One thing about IF is it reduces belly fat. It's known for that. So that makes me a little nervous because intermittent fasting means you're taking, for how, what's the amount of time that we're not eating? That's right. So the book gives you different plans based on what you like. You can customize the entire book. So some people do 16 hours of feeding, 
eight hours of fasting, which basically is sleeping, or you can go to 1412, or you can go to 1212. So you decide what your feeding and fasting windows will be. Obviously, the more aggressive you are with your fasting window, the more you're going to lose, the more you're going to drive your body into your fat. Here's the idea. The idea is that when you're fasting, your body has no calories on board. Mm -hmm. So it has to go somewhere to get the energy. Where does it go? To your fat stores, because fat is the storage form of energy. So when you have that fasting period and you cannot break the fast, which means you can have some coffee with a little bit of milk, you can have some herbal tea and some water, but no real calories because you want to keep driving your body into those fat stores. There are a lot of different examples you have for us today. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Yeah. I mean, so many things that people can eat, but there are a few no-nos on the list as well. Yes, there are some no's. So we don't want to drink soda. Even diet soda, because diet soda is 200 times sweeter, the sugar, than regular sugar, believe it or not. Uh, you also want to stay away from frying foods. So you can have some extra uh, virgin olive oil, but make sure you saute your foods. That's important. But there are a lot of good things. You can have canned fruits and vegetables as long as they're in their own juices. No um, preservatives added. No preservatives sure. added. Uh, and uh, what I like about it, the, about the program, is that it's flexible. So yeah, you can have some pasta. It's got to be whole grain or whole wheat pasta. You can have bread, 100% whole grain or whole wheat. So we're taking things that typically you can't have on a program right. and just eating them in a healthier way. Away. Okay, well, let's look at breakfast Yeah, here. so all the meals are interchangeable in the book. So if you're a vegan, vegetarian, pescatarian, you can make it work for you. This, for example, is one of the meals you could have. You could have, you know, an egg omelet uh, with some cheese, with some veggies in it, uh, a slice of whole grain or whole wheat toast, 100%, some turkey bacon. That is allowed on the program. So this is a, a very, very sizable breakfast. People will never complain about being hungry because there's a lot of food to eat. Uh, a salad is always easy to get anywhere you go these days. I always advise... Hey, do, do me a favor, put some protein on it. Mm -hmm. So some chicken or some fish is awesome. What about salad dressing, though? Because that people can run into a lot of calories. Yes, there. well, we're going to make one real fast. But uh, before we make one, uh, I want to show you dinner. So dinner, you can have uh, steak if you want with a nice little green garden salad. Or you can have salmon and some vegetables. As you can see, affordable, regular foods. People are probably already eating a lot of this already. Right. And you get to eat all this in that feeding window I talked about. So you get to eat all these foods. So you never go hungry. Right. In fact, some people say it's too much food. Well, it's a, it's a nice size portion. I think that's what happens when people are on the quote unquote diet. Yeah. That's right. That they, they are starving. And that's so right. you're not going to do that here. No. Now, here's a quick thing. So here's okay. a, a honey balsamic vinaigrette that's in the book. The recipe's in the book. It's, it's delicious. So you guys can mix it up. Okay. So we have one cup of extra virgin olive oil. Just kind of eyeball it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you you have a tablespoon of organic honey. Okay. Uh, then you have a quarter teaspoon of dry oregano. Uh, and then a quarter teaspoon of white balsamic vinegar here, mm -hmm. like this. Ooh, well, that's a little more. Oh, no, that's okay. Uh, a little salt and pepper to taste. Derek, okay. get in the action. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, and then we have a little rosemary, a half a teaspoon of rosemary. Okay. Then you mix all that up. Now, what I did, you can have some basil if you want. Depends if you like. Some people don't like basil. You can mix that up. But it smells delicious. I, I made some already for you, so you can taste it. Okay. Just taste it. Okay, um, has a little sweet kick to it. Um, oh, because mm. of the honey. That's, that's right. Very nice. Oh, yeah. It's good, right? That goes on this? Yeah, so you drizzle on your salad. Okay. And the key is this is a clean dressing. A lot of dressings you buy in stores, they say low fat, right. but they're high in sugar. Right. Yeah. They right. say no sugar, they're high in fat. Yeah. It takes three minutes to make these, put it in your refrigerator, you have it for a long time. Yeah, and you can even take that to work if you're going to plan on getting a salad later, have that with you because that's really the, the hidden calories Pe there. People mess up in the condiments. Like yeah. they, they, do, they eat nicely, then they dump it with creams and fats and calories. So in Clean and Lean, we say, hey, listen, we want to have these ingredients, but we want to make sure they're as clean as possible. Not perfect. This book doesn't ask you to eat perfectly. It gives you exercises, by the way. We'll do a little exercise later, right? Half yeah. of the book is exercise, but there are different tracks, beginners, intermediate, and advanced. And once again, in our Facebook group, 20,000 people have joined it, uh, Cleaner Get Leaner, and they all say that the plan is so customizable to who they are and what they want. Okay, we got to talk about alcohol very quickly. Yes. Allowed or not? Well, as a purist, no, for 30 days, but is a glass of red wine going to kill you? No, it's not going to kill you, but you need to do it during your feeding window. During your feeding window. So, for example, your feeding window could be 8 a.m. or 10 a.m. in the morning to 8 p.m. at night would be you eat all your meals. And then from uh, 8 at night to 10 in the morning is your fasting window. So if you're going to consume alcohol, do it during your feeding window. Okay. Very doable. Like I said, you can do all kinds of hours based on what you want to do. You can start, you know, conservative to be aggressive. But best to avoid that alcohol in yes. general, folks. If you're a purist. If you're a purist. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right. So still ahead, as you just mentioned, Dr. Ian Smith will be back to show us five exercises that will get our hearts pumping and the best part is no gym membership no equipment none of that is required you can do it all at home but first how your kids can ruin your retirement did i read that correctly the financial tips you need to know to make sure your kids don't leave you with an empty wallet
When it comes to college, the price for an education continues to soar every single year, and not having a financial plan for your children's college can possibly ruin your retirement. Here to make sure your kiddos don't leave you empty-handed and ways to begin saving for your future is Private Wealth Advisor with Ameriprise Financial, Trevor Shakiba. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. How are y'all? This is an interesting topic when we think about our kids, kind of the empty nesters, but then the empty wallet scenario, too, if you haven't really planned for it. People might freak out when they hear about this because in a blink of an eye, your kids are headed off to college. Yeah, you know, this is a, an interesting topic, um, kind of a shocking one when you, when you read it, right, when you first hear it. But it's based on an article that I just read in Barron's, and it's very true. I'm coming across it a lot with clients and potential people I meet with. In our industry, you know, when it comes to education, there's a lot of different things you can do. You can get loans and work study and work, but when it comes to retirement, you're either working longer or you're reducing your lifestyle. So that's why this is a critical uh, critical topic we're talking about. Well, and the costs are pretty staggering. Uh, some of the facts for your private college, nearly $50,000 per year on average. And by the way, I mean, living expenses and tuition, totally separate things. It really adds, adds up. 80% of parents give uh, some supportive financial support. Yeah, so th these are just the facts right here. Obviously, we all know about college. That's a shocking statistic. But the, the next couple really surprised me as well. 80% of adults give financial support to their adult children. That's the key word there, adult. And then actually, that number is $500 billion annually, which is two times how much people are saving for retirement. Oh, my goodness. That's unbelievable. So adult children means that they've either gone back, right? So they're still, the, the parents are still holding on to that responsibility of their children. Yeah, and I think it, in the study it was age 21 or okay. older. But I mean, you, you see it a lot. I see it a lot with my clients where there are kids mid-20s, late-20s, even mid-30s that are still living at home. Let's talk about a 529 uh, plan because this is one of the ways that people can start saving early. Yeah, and that's my second point. What, what, so what can we do? Just start early. So if you're watching, you've got young kids, start as soon as you can. 529s are a great education vehicle. In fact, they're probably the best education vehicle. Any savings is better than none. So don't, you know, I hear that all the time. I don't really have much. Well, if you have 50 bucks a month, just start. 100 bucks a month. And look, this can add up. It's not on the screen, but if you do 50 bucks a month for 18 years, assume 8%, that's approximately 22,500. If it's 100 a month, that equates to 45,000. So you gotta get started early. Oh wow, okay, a little bit adds up. All right, and then also you say, I mean this is, you say this no matter what plan we're looking at, but those setting the education goals and sticking with them, it's sort of like setting your budget, stick with it, don't stray from the path. Yeah, so it all starts with a discussion and I'm always surprised when, when I meet with um, new couples or they just had a child, what was their experience? What are we planning for? Is it four years, 100%, any school in the country, in Texas? What if that takes them seven years to graduate? Yeah. You, you really gotta define this and then like you said, Courtney, don't deviate. So if they get into an Ivy League school and you've planned for a school in Texas, you can't completely change everything unless you understand it's going to dramatically affect your retirement plan. What about just telling your kids though, like, hey, we wanna try to help you, but you can't just expect us to pay for everything. I mean, that's, well, that's kind of conversation, <laughs> but. Yeah, you know, look, uh, there's always emotion. Um, and when it's your kids, you, you know, it's difficult, but that's a great point. You gotta separate the emotion. And then my fourth point is, is don't be afraid of some tough love. So that definitely goes in your example, but look, you can't afford, even after college, you can't afford to be their bank forever. And it's probably not good for them to be in your house at age 35 either. So um, it, they, they, you just can't afford it with the numbers. And so tough love comes into the equation. Like here, here's what we've got for college. And if you wanna go to Harvard, well, then you're gonna have to figure that out, the rest of it on your own. And let's talk about, of course, return on investment. That's another conversation, right? Yeah, well, everyone laughs when I say that, especially my wife, when I say, well, let's <laughs> think through this. But look, if you approach it that way, at least approach it that way, that would change your perspective. And so look at the cost of the college versus what their degree is gonna be in and what their salary might be, meaning you probably don't wanna go to a college, if you're gonna be a teacher, that costs 60 or 70,000 a year if you're gonna make 40 or 45,000 in your first year. Those numbers just aren't gonna work. And my final point here, this is very prevalent, a down payment for the kids, that's a nice thing to do, but that's not an investment. It's a good thing for them, but it's not a good thing for you. Okay. Keep that in mind on the return on investment.
discussion. Some tough, tough love from you, Trevor Shakiba. It's great to see you as always, folks. If you would like more info on financial planning or if you'd like to schedule a complimentary initial consultation with Trevor and the Shakiba Group, you can call 281-724-9917 or visit them online at theshakibagroup.com. Trevor, thanks again. Yeah, thank you. Good to see you. And we are meeting our last finalist for the Elementary Science Teacher Award after the break. How this local teacher is making science fun in the classroom and even educating her kids through a little bit of rap. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Alliant Group and the Houston Independent School District announced six finalists for the 2019 Elementary Science Teacher Award. Alliant Group created the program to reward local teachers who help increase student engagement through innovative lesson plans that really emphasize the importance and, and intrigue of science. And today we're meeting the last finalist, Crystal Williams. She is a magnet coordinator and fifth grade science teacher at Hartsfield Elementary School. There was. Is it gonna bite me? No. No, it is not. My name is Crystal Williams. I teach fifth grade science at Hartsville Elementary. It'll find its way back to him. I think I was built for this. I was always a teacher. I used to line my dolls up and teach them and teach my cousins and my sister. Whether she liked it or not, I gave her work and I had a red pen and everything. What does it give me? Popcorn. Seasons, four seasons. I am the singing, dancing, standing on the table teacher. That's who I am. I am, okay, you don't understand, but you learned that rap song, so we're about to rap it out. Give me a beat, let's go. Hit them sevens and drop A. Seven, fourteen, twenty-one, drop A. Twenty-eight, thirty-five, drop A. Forty-two, forty-nine, drop A. Fifty-six, sixty-three, drop makes for a better eight hour day. It makes a better 10 month school year. And it just makes for overall a, a more positive experience because they learn and they remember. And then two years later, they're like, Ms. Williams, you remember that song? Wax, waxing, wax, on. on. And then we wane, oh. When I see a kid who comes in in August and is struggling, but trying, and then when I see them continue to try throughout the course of the school year as we both get burnt out, and we both need winter break and spring break and other breaks. But to see them always come back um, renewed, recharged, and at the end of the school year, they are successful. That growth over that school year, that growth over even a day or even a tutorial session, that growth is what makes me most proud. So which one is the odd one out? I get to enjoy the fruits of my labor every day. I get to see light bulbs go off. What is this? I feel like this was my ministry. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, you can tell she really loves her job. The energy in the classroom is fantastic. Very, very cool. And be sure, by the way, to join us this Wednesday on Houston Life. We will invite the winner of the 2019 Science Teacher Awards to appear right here on the show. And in the meantime, if you'd like to learn more about Alliant Group, you can visit AlliantGroupNews.com. And after the break, from lunges to squats, five effective body weight exercises you can easily do right in your own home. It's coming up. Whether your fitness level is beginner, advanced, or next guest, sharing five quick exercises that will accelerate results. We've already talked about the food you need to eat, and of course, now we're going to talk about exercise. Yes, New York Times best-selling author, health and fitness expert, Dr. Ian Smith, is back with us. All right, so you say it's easy, five exercises. It's easy. So listen, the whole half back of the book are all the exercises you need, from beginner to intermediate to advanced. You don't need a gym. You can do it right here. We're going to demonstrate awesome. some right now. Okay, so when you clean and lean, this is what you do. The first thing you want to do is, what do you want to do? You want to do some squats? Steam, Steam engines. Engine. Okay, Steam engines. Hand behind your head like this. Okay. Opposite elbow to opposite knee. Boom. Boom. It's a standing crunch. The military does it all the time. You do this for 35 seconds. I shouldn't have worn such tight pants. That's today. okay. You do it. Then you rest <laughs> for 30 seconds. Then you do 35 seconds. So you do on and off. 35 okay. seconds on, 30 seconds off. That's number one. Number two, how about some ice skaters? Ice skaters. So ice skaters is like this, right? And then it's this way. Oh. There you go. And okay. the other way. Go back the other way. There you oh, go. Yeah. Oh, there you oh, go. Oh, sorry, sorry Cece. See you go? Yeah. Like the speed skaters. Yeah. Like this, right? That's nice. This okay. is good because it gets that hip area. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Call me Apollo Ono. Uh, yeah, there exactly. you go. Exactly. Now then we have high knees. High knees. So high knees is very simple. Staying in place and it's marching or it's running. So here's marching. Okay. As fast as you can for 35 seconds. Remember, this is interval training. So 35 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Or if you want to be aggressive, 
I get extra points for heels, right? Yeah, here you go. See? <laughs> Already you're breathing a little bit, yeah, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, absolutely. Producers are laughing at <laughs> behind the scenes. No, it's great. Now, squats. Squats are good for balance and good for your quads and your core. So, feet a little wider than shoulder width apart. Okay. Hands out like so. Just like you're sitting in a chair, hold it. One, two, three, up. Down. One, two, three, up. Do that 15 times. Okay. Rest for 30 seconds. Do another 15. Now, here's the key, though. If you're worried about your balance, put a chair behind you. So you can tap down, right? You tap on a chair oh. a little bit so you can modify it. All the exercises are modifiable. Lastly, step ups. Find a box or a brick, a cinder block, and just step up like this. This is it. Okay. And this could be done as at the park. Yes, this could be as done fast anywhere. as you can. Yeah. And then the better you get, you can increase the size of the step. Oh, so when you get right. better, you go higher and higher, so it's more effort. And then when you get really good, you do this. Jump. Ah. See? They're harder to do in my wedges. <laughs> I know. You did a great job. But this is a very, also like the interval training, the, the high and the low is helping you burn your fat. That's what drives into your fat. So not only are you going to drive into your fat with the intermittent fasting on Clean and Lean, but also the exercises are intervals that drive into your fat. Already since the last segment, yeah, 100 people have joined our Facebook group from Houston, Cleaner Get Leaner, so join our group and follow me online on Instagram at Dr. Ian Smith, spell the doctor out, Ian Smith, and I give you all kinds of free tips about how to stay in shape and eat better. And I think that's great because of the accountability, right? When yeah. you have someone, you're doing this alone, you need accountability, and everybody on your Facebook page really shares recipes and encouragement. It's really great. It's addictive. The posts are amazing. People post their results. They encourage each other. Someone said, I had an awful Easter. There are 100 comments in the group people saying, hey, get back on the, on the wagon, you can do it. So it's just, when you have accountability, it makes a big difference. And they're simple and easy. It doesn't cost you a dime to do That's right. what Dr. Ian Smith just showed us how to do. Great to see you, buddy. Congrats on the latest book. Thanks, guys. Always good yeah. to see you guys. Always great to see you. <laughs> yeah. Visit the Scene on Houston Life section of HoustonLife.tv if you would like to keep up with Dr. Smith here. Book number 17. Fantastic. Thanks, guys. And still to come, uh, score some deep discounts on some summer travel. We are talking up to $900 off an all-inclusive stay at an oceanfront room in Jamaica. We're going to share all the details right after this. Well, welcome back. You know, when it comes to weight loss, there isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. And that's why Innovative Lasers of Houston offers a customized program that promises to help you reach your goals. Patient Kenneth Coswell recently stopped by to share an update on his progress along with CEO Laura Alexis. Okay, Kenneth, we got to chat about you because you we first chatted with you. When was it? Um, it's been three, four months. Yeah, it about, might have been yeah, five. I think it's been a little bit it's more than longer, that. It's yeah. been a little bit. T well, I was at 54 pounds whenever I was here last. Really? Yeah. Really? I'm at 100 now. Of weight loss? Yeah. 100 pounds? Yeah. Kenneth, I feel good. way to go, <laughs> and look at that smile. Yeah. I mean, remember the day that you called Innovative Lasers of Houston? Here's your before picture. Yeah. Who's that dude? Oh, uh, he was in these. <laughs> we have, look at, he's got, so there's the before pictures. We got several pictures of you, though, Kenneth. Un, but those were your pants. Yeah. <laughs> those are the pants I'm that I'm about wore. 11 pants sizes smaller than I were. Fantastic. Than I was. <laughs> so is this something that you've kind of dealt with your whole life, or this has been, what, number I've never years? wanted to diet. And my wife seen uh, Laura on y'all's program and said, why don't you just look? I said, okay. So I looked. And I said, well, let's go down and try. I said, all right, let's go. And it, it I've, been was doing, time. I've been doing great. Yeah, it was time. I, I wouldn't do anything. Sitting on tailgate, not doing nothing. Right. Now I do just about anything. I'm just going nervous energy now. Because <laughs> you really want to get out and move and do oh, things yeah. that you haven't done I before. I mean, don't sit around anymore. I'm going. That is fantastic. Yeah. Laura, I love hearing these stories, especially Kenneth. I mean, when you see not only bef the before pictures that we oh, were showing our viewers, but just the sheer size of the pants that you used to wear, not the pants that you're wearing today. No. Um, and the way that basically Kenneth's life has no, changed from day one. It's oh. incredible. Oh, absolutely. It There's the so bag. many patients that come in that feel the same way, and we're just filled with joy because we literally change people's lives. And just let's like let's talk about how this happens because when people come into uh, into Innovative Lasers of Houston, it's the Zerona laser that basically what you're offering is what has been changing for them. Right, the Zerona laser is one of the key ingredients that we use. Now, what is the Zerona laser? The Zerona laser is an FDA-approved laser that creates tiny microscopic tears into the fat cells. 
Uh, when that happens, the content of the fat cells seeped out naturally through bodily fluids such as urine and sweat, and uh, the patient shrinks. So it's very, very, very natural. It doesn't hurt. It offers no downtime, no swelling, no bruising, no pain, no heat, no cold. So it's just, it's a phenomenal laser anyway. that we use. And this slide is really interesting. This is basically the time lapse from start to finish during a session. Walk this through. Right. Walk us through this. So when the patients come in initially, um, after we put them in a program, undergoing the treatment, as you can see on the very top slide, you'll see that the fat cell is plump. So as the laser is doing its job, before a 20-minute session is over, as you can see on the very bottom, that fat cell has completely collapsed, and all you're left with is just the shell. So when that happens on the outside, you can actually literally see the inch loss. We guarantee 3 to 11 inches in only two weeks. And we should mention this is FDA approved. Absolutely. It's extremely safe. And I see you over here, you're nodding and you're, you're agreeing. So when you go in for your session and you're under the laser, what do you feel? Nothing. I sleep most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's your relaxing spa moment. No, they've got uh, radios in there. I sit in there and listen to music and just sleep. A little downtime for oh, you. Oh, yeah. Calm and soothing. Right. Um, okay, well, let's talk about the special offer, Laura, because I know so many people, like Kenneth, who are thinking, maybe I should call, maybe it's time. And as we mentioned, too, this program is designed per client that comes in and you you say this all the time one client is not shaped like the other right everybody's different target areas are different goals are different so the free consultation that we offer um, is very specific to the, that person's needs so um, typically our transformation a uh, small package is twenty four hundred dollars but for viewers right now for the first 100 callers it's half off and if you're one, if you were one, uh, one of the first 100 callers, you get an additional three sessions for free. So it's a really, really, really big special that we're offering right now. Again, that is six sessions for $1,200. That's how you get in on it. And all you have to do is mention Houston Life. You see everything that's included there, and um, you can do InnovativeLasersOfHouston.com or simply just make the phone call. Get in on that first 100 callers. 281-888. 3094 or again the um, you can go online to schedule that consultation as well innovative lasers of houston.com and by the way houston area treatment centers are all over we just saw that screen up on there um, that get galleria spring clear lake katie and soon to open which is the sugarland location we're oh it's now open already yes we're open already look at that. i blinked and you're open <laughs> it's great to see you laura kind of congratulations to, to you and i'm glad to see that you're losing more weight and those pants what are you going to do? Keep them for a while? Shoot. Just to remember? Yeah, I'm going to keep them. I know. It's a good memento, what <laughs> you don't want to go back to. Throw darts at them or something. Congratulations <laughs> to you. Uh, if you're dreaming of a summer getaway, of course you are, with beautiful beaches and sunshine. The time to start planning is now. That's right. Senior editor of Travel Zoo, Gabe Sagley, is here with strategies to help us save big on travel. Gabe, welcome back to the show. Hey, listen, it's April. Why not start talking summer now? Uh, yes, summer. we it's... need to. Otherwise, we're going to be behind the ball. <laughs> exactly right. But it's never too late, though. And one of your first options is just down the road, Hotel Galvez. So this is, and this is a reminder that Texas goes on sale during the summer season, as much of the southern tier states do. So you want to look at destinations that just need the foot traffic. You'll see some of the best bargains there. Hotel Galvez, uh, you know, what, an hour drive from where we're sitting right yeah. now, right on the water there, uh, you know, little island, uh, easy to get to. And prices will drop nicely over the uh, summer season, $99 a night uh, for travel through the summer season. This is a beautiful four-diamond uh, hotel. They've got a swim-up bar at, at that pool there so you may not need to leave this hotel at all well, ever 99 yeah. bucks a night <laughs> it's a great deal and it is it's it's amazing i love it okay yeah. let's move on to uh colorado we like that so don't colorado we? so Obviously, some of these great ski destinations, that's when they'll see their prices peak. February, March, when the snow is really good, the ski bunnies go in, the snow melts, the mountains are still there, the yeah. four- and five-star hotels are still there. They need you, and you'll see some great bargains there. This is a great a resort called the Ritz-Carlton Bachelor Gulf uh, in Avon, Colorado, at the very base of Beaver Creek Mountain. Uh. Gorgeous uh, four-diamond resort. 
four five hundred dollars a night during the winter season if not more 199 uh, for the uh, summer season and you know the snow is gone which means what you're horseback riding you're going on guided hikes you're fly fishing uh, and that wide glove service that draws those ski buffs during the winter season that doesn't go away you're still getting that over the summer season although you're saving 50 percent or more that that's setting. beautiful and quite honestly off. it's the best place to escape the heat it when really you just is. need to get away for a bit to escape our summer it's Houstonians perfect Houstonians love Colorado yeah, yeah and this is a great excuse to, to put it on the uh, summer to-do list right someplace that it. is super close uh, by the way you hop down to Mexico in what and. feels like five minutes yeah. this is the Hilton Los Cabos and I love this resort I love Los Cabos and like you said you can have breakfast at home and if you time it right you could maybe having a margarita at lunchtime oh yeah on the shores of Los Cabos this is the Hilton Los Cabos it's on one of the very few swimmable beaches in Cabo San Lucas because a lot of those beaches are yeah, sort of rough. rugged uh, mm -hmm. there on the Sea of Cortez you can swim on this beach they also have two infinity pools here the bar on site the largest tequila selection uh, on that stretch of Baja California. So again, you don't have to leave the resort when you, once you're there. And the price point, yeah, from 179 to 219, uh, based on when you travel, breakfast is included, uh, and then do the two for one adventure combo. So if you want to go dolphin excursion, uh, you can go for free, kind of a thing. Oh, I you love know, it. Nice and you know what? I don't think there's a cloud in Los Cabos no. ever. I mean, the summer season, the reason the prices drop is that it can get a little bit more, you know, stormy, a little dicier as far as the weather forecast is concerned. But again, you're in that infinity pool. Oh. You're in that tequila bar. You forget about the storm. And, and it all goes those through. rooms yeah. have an ocean view, too. Yeah, that's a beautiful Waking thing. up with the ocean. Yeah. yeah. I have a friend like who dream. actually stayed there a couple of months ago. Blown away. He loved that property a lot. Fantastic. Okay, let's move on to Bermuda. So this is Bermuda. This is now not the Caribbean. A lot of people think, oh, Bermuda's part of the Caribbean. We're talking a 1,000 miles north of Puerto Rico. So the weather tends to, you know, we sort of, escape a lot of that summertime dicey weather that the Caribbean will see. Gorgeous pink sand beaches up there. Great property, the Fairmont Southampton, Four Diamond Resort on a cliff overlooking those pink sand beaches, overlooking the waters there. They have a gorgeous 31,000 square foot spa. Oh. Uh, you can hang out in there all day. Ten restaurants, just a beautiful, lush resort in one of the great destinations there in the Atlantic, uh, the Fairmont South End. Oh my goodness, I would go just for the spa. Yeah. That sounds unbelievable. Little spa. Okay, all inclusive, this is a great way to go because you know there are gonna be no surprises. Yeah. You're not gonna run up a huge tab. Let's talk Jamaica. Yeah, so for folks who have not done the Caribbean and they wanna do like an introductory experience, the all-inclusive is, is a really safe way to go. You want to research your resort, make sure it's the kind of resort you like. But otherwise, as it says, most of what you're going to be doing and seeing and eating will be included. This is a package of a company called Vacation Express. It takes you over to Negril, Jamaica, and you stay four nights uh, at a great little boutique hotel right on the cliff uh, that's called the Samara, Samsara Cliff Hotel. All-inclusive, the price point between $629 and $745, depending on your travel dates. But again, that's airfare, four nights, all-inclusive oh. stay, all you can eat, all you can sip as well. Oh, oh. now that sounds yes. fantastic. It's Maybe it can be dangerous. The road. <laughs> they may not know, know who they're dealing with when they're saying all-inclusive. That's, <laughs> that's what I tell my wife. Like, hey, do they know who they're dealing with? After right. Courtney's stay, they'll file bankruptcy. <laughs> uh, let's talk a little bit about Legoland because this is great for the whole family. You have a family. Yeah, indeed. Three kids, and I, uh, I, I, but I didn't take them with me on this, on this research excursion what? last week. It was research. To, to Legoland, Florida. So, so if you're thinking about Orlando, I mean, it's sort of a theme park mecca, obviously. Obviously, this is Legoland, about an hour outside of Orlando Airport. This is the brand new Lego Movie World. So if you've seen the movies, I mean, they've racked uh, in more than half a billion dollars worldwide. Three new rides. They've got a new uh, a dining spot on the property. It's at two acres, the largest expansion the park's ever done. This masters the flight. The technology there is oh, fantastic. Gosh. It's a four and a half minute immersive uh, ride. But if your kids, especially ages two to 12, if they're into Legos, Lego characters, great uh, destination for them. Uh, they've got two hotels there on the property. So you can make it sort of a one or two night stay and really immerse yourself. It's a 150-acre park, but this new um, inclusion really brings those movies to life. As you know, in San Antonio, the Legoland Discovery Center is opening up April 12th. Yes. There's sort of a Lego playground. There's a the Sea Life Aquarium there as well. So something for the Lego lover in your life, no matter where you go. I love it. I know my boys would, too. By the way, for more information on all these travel deals and much more, head over to our site, HoustonLife.tv. Always great to see great you, Great to see you guys. You right. have the best job, seriously. No. Someone's got to do tips. it. Yeah, yeah. We'll be right back. I'll bring Seriously. next time, yeah. Coming up tomorrow on Houston Life, the five steps to minimalism from choosing a color scheme to decluttering, how you can do more with less. Oh, absolutely. Plus, build a better burger. Listen to this. Mouth-watering recipe that you can make at home, complete with caffeinated barbecue sauce. I'm sorry, what now? I don't know. It just says caffeinated barbecue sauce. So it'll wake you right up.
Get right in there. Use some this Monday. Right Happy Monday. See you tomorrow. How's your teeth, okay? From today? Broken. <laughs>